Lake Erie, before being overfished and overpolluted, was nearly overrun with lake trout. Last time lake trout thrived here in Lake Erie, I wasn't alive. Chances are you weren't alive either. That was over a century ago. In the 1960s, lake trout were no longer found in Lake Erie. In the 1980s, environmental groups around the lake made efforts to bring the fish back. That's almost 40 years of, of stocking uh, these fish out in the lake, and to this point had not seen any, uh, any signs um, that they had been you know, naturally reproducing. That all changed. Researchers set traps where they thought trout were spawning, found baby trouts, or fry. For the past 20 years, James Markham, an aquatic biologist with the Lake Erie Fisheries Unit of the DEC, has been working towards this moment. It's just having that breakthrough and knowing that all the effort that you've put forth so far is actually making progress. Markham hopes this is just the beginning. In order to get the lake trout population to anything like it was before, the fish will need to keep reproducing in the wild. I mean, lake trout were, were the main predator out in, in our cold waters here. We're trying to restore them so that they are uh, once again um, that, that, that dominant um, predator. Those first fry were found near Barcelona Harbor. Jeffrey Sachs, 7 Eyewitness News.